This is Talkioki, it's a free for all talk show. You can talk about whatever you want to talk about. Just going to grab your point before. Um, I do agree with like giving them opportunities, but I think that we've all fallen into a, a really big trap of selling young people dreams that they all can, all can be the next Mark Zuckerberg or um, Bill Gates or uh, Steve Jobs, who all didn't go to university, mm -hmm. who all are very successful, but not everyone can do that in that way. Yeah. And so uh, kind of telling them, if a, a child is struggling at university, telling them that it's okay, Mark Zuckerberg didn't go to university, doesn't mean that you're going to be the next Mark Zuckerberg, especially if he doesn't have the skills to make it there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let, me get, let me grab your point and I'll come back to you. Sure, I mean, I, I, I think that both points are really interesting. The thing is that, you know, on the one hand, you, you, you're talking about how you need, how you need to um, develop skills and sort of, you know, develop people and, uh, and the young generation so that they can be inventive and do things, you know, business-wise, and especially since there aren't many jobs out there. On the other hand, you're talking about how you don't want to tell, give people false dreams and false hopes because that's also something. But the, the question is also there's the middle ground of, of, you know, the fact is that there's a lot of things out there for people to be doing that don't necessarily need a university education. You don't, you're right, you might not need to be, uh, Mark, you might not be Mark Zuckerberg, but you can, there are lots of people who have high-end good degrees and can't get jobs, but there are also lots of people who um, might well have have um, good um, have good things about them that the good things that, that they can do uh, but aren't encouraged to do it because they're encouraged to go to university to do degrees that no, don't necessarily help them yeah. so for instance there are lots of people who might be and where are all of these sort of like the ironmongers all those sort of things that the kind of jobs that kept the sort of society alive now you don't have anything everything's outsourced to other country development countries mm -hmm. and no one's willing to make anything here so yeah. you've got both sides you do have lots of people who might well enjoy doing things like woodwork or things like that which could actually better society as well and you don't necessarily instead of you're penciling them into degrees and telling them that the only way forward the only way that they can earn any money is to do degrees whereas you see like anyone who's tried to call a plumber recently you can see how much it costs to get a plumber those people are earning a lot of money but no one's encouraged to be a plumber at you know at any stage but those guys are earning a fortune mm -hmm. and why are people not encouraged to do yeah. things they might well be good at and they can earn a, a wage from yeah. So people are encouraged just to go to university. Young people are being sold a dream that, you know, a bit unreachable dream. Um, I think it's really, really very important uh, to go to, if it's possible for anyone to go to university. Have you got any job, if you finish or no? That is a second question. I studied technician format in Germany. I worked before like a consultant with SAP, more than six years. And I came back, I came here in London, I lost my job about I didn't sleep. Every day I'm trying to apply for different jobs. Everywhere I'm going, they ask me, do you have any education? Yes. Put it through, I did this. Obviously, right education I did for the job, I got a big chance already to get something because what I study, I can everywhere, in every level, try to do something because I got a level already for education. It's really, really very much. Anytime in your life you can speak. Yeah, but if you got... You don't have a good education. It's a lot of job where it's impossible for you to apply, because they will tell you we need computer science engineering or business admission or anything in that level where you can work up to do some things. That's what that's my what I think. Mm -hmm. It's really, really, really very important. Yeah. I got my young boy 18. He's in the university. Mm -hmm. He told me last time, Dad, I want to stop to going to school. I said, No, you have to. I will pay for it. You understand what I'm saying? You know why? Because I will be free tomorrow if you got any degree. But if you don't have it, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Mm -hmm. It's not. She was speaking about uh, Steve Jones or uh, Bill Gates. It's not everyone who got this chance to go up. Mm -hmm. By thousands, you got maybe once or two, and you have to get the money. Now it's not easy for the bank to support anyone. You see, a lot of young boys they got different uh, ID. They want to develop their self, but it's impossible to do because the money is not there. Goes back to no the, one will give the them money the money. Thing. Mm. So, um, I suppose, oh, let me get your, grab your point. Just, grab yeah, I, my point will be brief. I agree with the man that education is important, but with this gentleman's point about um, encouraging um, young people to do other things like woodwork and I'm hungry, the reality is um, we can't really have um, a manufacturing base in this country anymore because other countries will do it cheaper and no one will buy 
our products and that's why our economies become so service driven so you can train him to be um, an ironmonger but there'll be no business for him because people get, can get in Korea or China cheaper and that's the reality yeah oh, let me uh, I'll grab yours and then I'll come back I don't think we need to sort of subs well first of all I think the point of going to, edu going to university is not just about getting a job it's about opening your mind but also with that in mind I think we need to be more open to other ways final thoughts other you other you know, ways of being than this kind of global market economy. Okay, you can make things cheaper in Korea or China, but does that mean that we need to buy into that? It doesn't mean we can't um, make our own stuff. Like the guy that makes Bromptons makes them more expensive. Yeah, the Bromptons? little bicycles, they're made in Britain because he wants them to be made in Britain because he's British. And if more people had that way of looking at things, then we, we don't have to make things in China and Korea, we can make stuff and it can be feasible, but we've always subscribed into this global economy. We don't need to. Mm -hmm. So there is an alternative. Let me get some final thoughts from you guys before um, you go. Yeah, it was very good. It's a really good forum and platform, but I just actually wanted to say what you said about the global economy, because that's quite contradictory to what you said about the diverse society. So if you're going to have one, you kind of have to have the other. If you want a diverse um, British society, you can't shut yourself off from the global economy. It doesn't make any sense. But, yeah. But <laughs> And my, my final thought, I, I do agree with that because it's great to be proud to be British and make British products for British people, but again, you isolate yourself and we live in a global economy where that's just not feasible. Mm -hmm. Well, let me grab your point now. So I think that the only the thing is really is that people can't really change this. You need to actually have government to be in it, you know, behind it to change it because what the gentleman over here was talking about, about um, education is that you know, if you don't have any a recognised degree or anything, it will be very hard if you lose a job midlife and he's 100% right. Currently it's very difficult if that were the case and what they were talking, what this other gentleman over here was also talking about, about the global economy and about how um, it's, at the moment you should be encouraged to make British things. Also, I, I think that if the government was behind it and for instance they taxed things higher um, from bringing in a Abroad, rather than helping and, and giving sub, giving grants to local producers of of the similar things to try and help the local producers, that would hopefully bring, get the level playing ground a little bit. You know, that's in one thing. And also at the same time, the government said that they could um, give um, colloquial degrees or not so, and that they were going to be recognised by the majority of industry. You start by the government, which is a huge employer. Government's a huge employer, um, civil servants and, and whatever there's and um, public transport, public uh, offices, and all those sort of things. If those sort Started accepting the new form of degrees, which were not necessarily academic degrees, but rather through experience and through uh, trust and to, through loads of the other things that you could do. Well, that would be on the road. If you've been in a company for five years, there shouldn't be no reason if you're made redundant, you can't get a job somewhere else mm -hmm. with uh, with the experience you've had. Nothing to do with a degree or what you've had at the beginning. Yeah. So the government really have to has to yeah. be behind all of these things. Otherwise, yeah. there's no other way. So it's that government level; these things need to be changed. Well, thank you for joining us. Do you check us out online? Oh, oh yeah, let's see. It's part of the problem, though, no, not okay. that kids don't get encouraged to actually use their skills. There's this almost stigma that you've got to go to university, you've got to get A's, you've got to get B's at school in exams, you've got to get a degree. They're not encouraged to use skills they might have. So whether that's joinery, electrician, whatever it may well be, someone might be born with those skills, but they're almost told that you have to go to university, you have to get a degree, you have to do this job, you have to be here. People should be allowed to express themselves in whatever way they can, make a living out of that. We need people in society who are joiners, electricians, whatever it may well yeah. be. We don't need bankers, lawyers, doctors, yeah. as I speak as one of the, those categories. We don't need people like me. You need people who are able to go out there and actually influence society yeah. in ways that you don't necessarily need a degree for, but yeah. they're maybe not given the encouragement they need yeah. to do that. I mean, what do you think about what Mikey said about you can actually make things in Britain, you know, there's a, there is, is a need for those plumbers in Britain who are British and that can help the economy. Of course it is, but they're not given, people are not given encouragement to do it because yeah. we have this idea that people coming into this country from abroad or we can outsource it are cheaper. Whereas British people can do it but aren't given encouragement to do it. Yeah.